So, yeah, welcome to our presentation. This this um, evening, right? Let me let me put this. So, let's see. Okay. So you can see me clearly, right? Like when we're able to see each other. All right, great stuff. So you're welcome. First of all, uh, we want to say our hearts actually go out. Today we're talking about uh, the message. If you got the message, we're talking about the war, the invasion of Russia, okay, the invasion of um, Ukraine by Russia, how it actually affects the, the cryptocurrency market. So first of all, we want to say that our heart goes out to the Ukrainians. I mean, a war is never a good thing, no matter how you look at it, it's never a good thing. And for those people that are in Ukraine, who woke up one morning and they are being bombarded, we, our hearts go out to them. No matter what happens in the financial world, what happens in the business world, we cannot take away the effects of war on human lives. Women, children, old and the sick ones even. And I don't know if you have cryptocurrency and probably your cryptocurrency asset is going down in value, so to speak, because of the effect of the happenings in the world around. The truth of the matter is that you are alive. That's the most important thing. The most important thing here is that you are alive, right? That's the most important thing. And we are grateful to God that we're alive. While we also offer our prayers and um, we pray, it's, 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 if you watch the news, if you watch the news, you go on Twitter and you read stuff, you go on social media, uh, not a good thing. It's not a good thing. All right? It's not a good thing. We are in what is called a fog of war. Why is that? Because the media on both sides apparently uh, manip seem to be manipulating the information that is passed out in order to support their narrative, all right? In order to support their narrative. So at the end of the day, no matter where you, when you go this way and you go that way, it depends on what they're telling you. That is what appears to be kind of the truth. All right, so we have, you feel that things are being manipulated. And I don't know, this war does not seem to be going away so soon. In the 21st century, attacking a sovereign country in the heart of Europe, we don't know what's happening in the world. So the people in Ukraine, what we, what we know is that the people in Ukraine also understand that I am not a political analyst. I'm not um, a licensed or a certified um, financial advisor or legal advisor. I'm simply educating. So make sure that you take it that way and also do your own research. One thing we know is that the people in Ukraine are suffering. And it seems that Russia has been planning this invasion for a long time, maybe as far back as 2014, they've been planning this invasion. All right, so some reports say that, some reports say that, understand that um, it appears Russia has been planning this since 2014 because re re research has shown that at some point they were selling all their assets or US-based assets and uh, they were not acquiring anymore. It's like they were preparing for all of these things, US-based assets, even including gold and all of that. They were preparing. In fact, reports say that Russia has a significant amount of Bitcoin in their treasury. Some people, some um, reports have said that they have up to 
$22 billion worth of Bitcoin. Another report says they have up to $220 billion worth of Bitcoin. That is Russia. And that is roughly about 12% of all uh, of Bitcoin in circulation. So it is also said that reports have also shown that uh, a claim that Russia is, is, I think, the third largest crypto mining country, second only to the United States and Kazakhstan. And that's according to the University of, um, of Cambridge. And so I'm just trying to give you this perspective to get you to understand how this war is probably going to affect cryptocurrency. And if you have assets there, what steps that you probably need to take, all right? So um, Russia's crypto holding is, is huge, all right? And what they're doing actually plays a role in the volatility we've seen, um, the, the volatility that we've seen thus far for, let's say for the past, um, a week or so, right? What they've done, what they're doing is actually affecting. And then because people were not sure what Russia was going to do, there was a level of uncertainty. And so that also affected the market. But right now, as it is now, apart from that, leverage traders, if you understand those people who do leverage trading and they lose money and all of that, all those stuff also affect the cryptocurrency market. Because some people might be wondering, why has the cryptocurrency market stayed this long? Uh, why hasn't it spiked up back? Okay, some people will be asking questions. Well, these are some of the reasons. Well, as the direction of um, crypto appears to be clearing, I mean, uh, with the war now, people know, okay, we were thinking, will, 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 uh, will, will Russia attack? Will Russia not attack? what will they do and all of that. So all that thought been there. So people are thinking, okay, so what are we going to do? What's the direction and all of that. But as it is now, the direction appears to be reversing. Again, it's not a financial advice. So you look at, you look at, you go to your own due diligence and make a decision, okay? It is reversing due to the fact that Russia has attacked Ukraine and people are kind of clear now, okay? That, okay, this is, this is it. The, attack, the, the thing that we're not sure of, now we are sure that this is happening, right? We have to mute. Okay, so that's just it. And research shows that this upward reversal might just continue. So in the next one month, two months, we're looking forward to seeing the crypto market reversing. Understand also that many Western countries have been threatening to to put a sanction on, on Russia, and they've actually put some sanction. But now the biggest one here now that is really troubling is that they're also saying that they are going to cut um, Russia away from the, from the SWIFT network. Now understand that when it comes to international money transfers and businesses and all of that, the SWIFT network carries about half of the world's heavy transactions. And so they cut you off that Swiss network. I mean, the SWIFT network, it's also going to affect your exports and your imports, your international trade. And now the challenge is that Putin is saying that if that, if the Russian banks are taking off the SWIFT network, that will be declared, that will be seen as an act of war. So understand also that Russia is, um, I think the third largest producer of oil, um, I think so, yeah, the third largest producer of oil and then has loads of um, raw materials. It's very heavy in exports and international trade. So Russia is not a small country that you could just squeeze that way. And then Russia also is responsible for a significant amount of gas supply in Europe. And so as it is, while, and on Thursday, understand that I think on Thursday or so, after the attack or at the beginning of the attack, I think the price of Bitcoin went down less than 35%, like $35 or so. But understand this, that while Bitcoin went down, 
things like oil, things like um, gold, because these things are like gas. These are things that like gas, oil, these are things that people use. So it's expected that the prices will do what will go up. Okay, so Russia, the fear now is that if Russia is taken away from the SWIFT network, Russia might employ cyber attacks. Now, how that is going to affect the world, well, that's another gist. And this may lead to um, anti-crypto regulations, <laughs> you know, all that stuff. So we need to be ready, those of us who are in the crypto space. It's not just about the chanting, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Understand that cryptocurrency is high risk. It's high risk, it's also high reward, very high reward. But don't lose faith yet, I'm taking you somewhere, all right? So, like I said, this might lead to anti-crypto regulations. Understand that authorities, have been looking for ways to clamp down on cryptocurrency, to, to stifle the growth of cryptocurrency, okay? And now, after the attack was launched, after the attack was launched on Thursday, I think on Thursday or so, BTC went down 8%, Ethereum went down like 2.4%, Solana went down by like 10%, in fact, the total global crypto cryptocurrency market went down by $160 million. Okay, so experts are arguing that the current crisis also presents an opportunity. While I have presented that picture that like it's grim, experts are also arguing that the fall of cryptocurrency prices also present an opportunity for people to invest in the space by buying assets at a lower price, okay? Remember, I think it was Warren Buffett that said that when people are scared, be bullish. When people are bullish, be careful, all right? So right now, some people are selling their assets even at a loss, and people are getting out of the cryptocurrency space, blah, 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 blah. You want to ask yourself, really, do I have spare cash? Do I have cash around the corner that I can actually put into the space? Because I'm going to show you, as I'm going to show you some figures later, the cryptocurrency space is really huge when you're getting at a significant discount. All right, right now, the market is heavily, heavily discounted, okay? And many people are scared and are actually getting out of the market. But is this the time for you to get out of the market? Well, again, it's your decision. Because history has shown that Bitcoin always bounces back goes down, sometimes it goes down like, we've well, seen cases where Bitcoin went down like minus 83, like 83% down, and then bounces back again. And when it bounces back, it hits another all-time high. It goes up, boom, up there, and it drags other cryptocurrencies alongside with it. So you want to ask yourself, do I want to get out? Do I want to stay put? Do I still want to take more position? Understand that unlike what we had in 2017, where we had more um, retail investors in the crypto space, today we have institutional investors, Microsoft, Facebook, Amazon, MicroStrategy, um, JP Morgan Chase, name it. All these giants are in the crypto space. And some countries like um, El Salvador has adopted Bitcoin as part of its legal tender. So I think we've gone, that's my opinion. We've gone past the point where you could just squeeze crypto and just throw it away. So Bitcoin, history has shown that Bitcoin always bounces back, okay? And war history also shows that on the first day of any war, all right, what happens? Assets plummet, they go down, but after a while they begin to stabilize. We are thankful for those of us who are not in war-torn areas, like in Ukraine, we are thankful for life, but we are not oblivious of the fact, we are not ignorant of the fact that we have people over there in Ukraine who are suffering. We even have Nigerians that are trapped in there and all that stuff. And while we analyze business and we analyze the market and we, we do some, bring you this news, we are not ignorant of the fact, we are not absent. You know, in our minds, we're not absent in our minds of the fact that we have people there, and we, 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 we have them in our minds, we pray 
that they are protected. We pray that this passes, this comes to an end like today, tomorrow, all right? It's, it's a crazy stuff. It's a crazy stuff. War is never a good thing now. After all the fighting, they'll come down to a round table and have a conversation. But why don't you have the conversation first? Why don't we insist on the conversations? Why must people die before we come down to sit and have conversations? It does not really make sense. And that's how crazy the world we live in is, all right? So understand that the news is, what I'm sharing with you now is more than technical analysis. And some people will want to go, I want to go and do trading. This is this is probably not a good time to start doing all the technical analysis because fundamentally things are happening in the world that's affecting the way that is, you know, technical analysis, I believe is more like, what is the mathematical or the scientific behavior of the market giving, I mean, ceteris variables. I mean, everything, everything being equal, all right? What is the scientific or the mathematical explanation to the behavior of the market? But war, it's not a normal situation. It's an abnormal situation, you know? And economic sanctions, yeah, it's not a normal situation. So at this point, you find out that Fundamental indices will take precedent over technical analysis. So it's important that we pay attention to all of this and understand this, okay? I, one advice I'm going to give all of us here is probably think of holding stable coins that can bring you interest. Think of stable coins that will probably bring you interest. And I must say that if you'd like to learn about some stable coins that would actually bring you interest, Okay, and give you bring you a um, significant profit. You probably want to consider. You probably want to consider. Um, you probably want to consider being uh, getting into the Moonacade community. Really, this is this is really critical because in the Moonacade community, you get to be you you are shown those assets that you can actually stable points that you can actually buy because at this point the market is really volatile. And experts are arguing that it's important that you can put your money, that you put your money into stable coins. Uh, let me mute this person. Put your money into stable coins and do what? Uh, and yen and earn some interest. So if you don't understand how that works, then you will have to get into the Monarchate community. So who are we? And why should you take advantage of the Monarchate community? First of all, I need to allay your fears when it comes to something. Let me let me see. I want to share something with you, right? Real quick. I need to allay your fears when it comes to something. Um, that history is actually our friend. You see the things that are happening now. Many a times they have happened. Many a times they've happened. They've happened in the past. Let me ask you. Okay. Um, is there anybody that is that is getting into my presentation for the first time? Is there anybody? Could you just put down a yes? All right, is there anybody here that is getting into my presentation for my presentation room for the very first time? Okay, so that means... Um, Everybody here knows. Okay, so that means that everybody here knows. Okay, that's good, that's good. So basically what I'm trying to share with us is that if you're having if you're having assets, cryptocurrency assets, it's important that you pay attention to uh, the, the, the assets that you have. I would not advise getting out of the market. Of course, I'm not giving financial advice. I would not recommend getting out of the market. Yes, Russia, Ukraine, lots of issues out there. I will not deny that it's affecting the market. The market might get down a little, might go lower, all right? But understand that there's also a debate and argument that it's a time to also go into the market. If you have some money to go into the market, it's a time to also go into the market. Why is that? Because history has shown us that Bitcoin always bounces back. And... I'm sure that some of us have seen, you, might, you may have seen this before, okay? You may have seen this before, I think I shared this before with you, all right? And that is that 
Many a times, you see all these things happen. We are moving really fast, all right? This is the way the market actually starts from the accumulation point to prosperity point, all right? And then to global stability point. This is where we are. A lot of things, is ha a lot of things are happening. And if you take a look at this now, this is where we are, okay? Despite the war and all that that's happening, this is where we are, okay? We are trying to spike, all right? We're getting into another level. It's going to take a lot of resistance, okay? So do not get perturbed. Well, always listen to what's happening and make a decision. Understand again that the cryptocurrency space is very, is a very volatile space and the profits are high, just as the rewards are also high, okay? So get into to know it. I mean, uh, Moon Arcade, if you're not there, because there I have shown you that experts have argued that it is also beneficial at this point in time to buy, to get into stable points that you can stick or you can deposit and you can um, employ so that they can give you some returns. They can give you some, some what, what's that thing again? When you put, when you get fixed deposit, what do you get? You get some returns on investment, all right? You get some interest, okay? Because those are stable coins. When we talk about stable coins, we're talking about coins that are not affected by the volatility of the cryptocurrency market, they are stable, okay? And so with the expansion of the cryptocurrency space, the DeFi space, with the advent of the NFT and the tokenization evolution, what is happening that more avenues are coming into play where people can actually invest their cryptocurrencies and make a whole lot of money, okay? Depending on how much you have. And it's by far better than what you have when you put your money into when you leave your money in fiat currency. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm simply just educating you. I was trying to tell you about, um, I was trying to show you something and tell you how the market actually behaves. Let me see. Um, I'm just making sure that we get educated, okay? I'm just making sure that we get educated. Now, let me show you stuff. Da, da, da. Give me a moment, okay? So if you take a look at this here now, all right? Take a look at this here now. You see that if you take a look from say 2011, all right, down to this point here, you see a Bitcoin low and then it goes up, or low and then it goes up. You see, it goes up. It's a legacy token. So it goes up and it comes down. All these things affect it, all right? All these happenings around the world, it does like a hundred X, then it comes down like 68% down, then it goes up again, it does like another 16 X, that's 1,000, 16 X would mean 1,600%. Uh, then it goes down again. Please mute, let's mute our microphones, please. Thank you. It goes down again, put down like 83%. Let me see, I have to mute everybody. Okay, it comes down again like 83%. Then it travels again, it goes up like, uh, let's take this off. All right, it goes up and does like 106X. All right, then it drops down again, like does another 83%. Okay, and then begins to go up. In all, you see, Bitcoin has continuously gone up or continually gone up. All right, so this is just, why is this, why is this the case? It is the case because Bitcoin, uh, it's the case because Bitcoin is a legacy token. And what are legacy tokens? Legacy tokens are tokens that they give you the first chance to buy, okay, at the early stage, at the entry stage. If you miss that, they go up, they travel, they go up, they travel, down, down, and go up. And then they give you another point to do what? Enter. This is called the discount season. Bitcoin has gone from like $67,000 to about $34,000. That is almost 50% gone. I'm sure that there were some people that when Bitcoin was like $67,000, they felt like, oh my God, I wish I bought this when it was 30. The fact that it has hit $67,000, 
tells you that today it is 34 or maybe $35,000. It tells you that it will go back, it will hit the ceiling and eventually break it through. This ceiling right now is considered a resistance. It's eventually, history has shown that it will eventually break it through and go higher. It's been predicted that Bitcoin is gonna hit 3,000, I mean, um, it's gonna hit $300,000, okay, whatever it is. But the point is, if we take a look at history, as far as it is the legacy token, all right, it will fly back up. But again, it's your decision whether you want to go into it or not. But unfortunately, for people who have weak tokens, some people say, I have cryptocurrency, um, I'm a cryptocurrency person, I have cryptocurrency. What they do is that they have weak tokens. Those weak tokens are mostly, many a times, mem coins or shit coins. They do not have any viable projects behind them. So what happens is that they go up, and when things like this, not even as serious as a war as this happens, they plummet, okay, for no, no reason, not like anything, sometimes nothing happens. They just plummet because they've been designed to collect money from people. I have friends who had Bitcoin up to 100 units of Bitcoin, 150, 200 units of Bitcoin, and they were going into, they were going into programs that they would have to register with Bitcoin. I'm sure some of us were part of that in maybe 2017, 2016, 2018. Some people even 2019, 2020 invested um, Ethereum. When people were done collecting people's Bitcoin, they got into Ethereum. They said, the only way you get into this is Ethereum. Then if you don't have Ethereum, you go and buy Ethereum and you give it to them. So it is easy to get in, they pay you once or twice. After a while, they, they don't pay you again. That's it. All right, so your Ethereum gone. So what they did was to design a way to collect Bitcoin. What they did was to design a way to collect Bitcoin from people. So you just keep giving them your Bitcoin. Then they designed a way to collect your Ethereum from you because of a lack of knowledge. You kept registering with Ethereum, you know, and they do all sorts of stuff. And so there are some people come up and they promote, okay, there's this very coin like that. This one coin like that, if you just promote it, they have a community they are building. You can use the coin for this, for that. I'm not mentioning coins. I'm not against, I, I, don't, I don't care what you do with your money, right? I'm just educating and making sure that when you make the right decision, okay? Remember that most of these things are designed to fail in one or two years. And we've seen countless examples. So before you decide to put your money into any token, into any coin, be sure that you are properly advised. Be sure that you are properly educated. So these coins go this way and then they plummet. Remember, if you don't, many times you don't get to hear when they are around here. You get to sometimes hear, ah, this coin only fly oh, when it's around here. And when you buy here and then it plummets to this point, you wouldn't want to sell because you're already at a loss. Then it begins to go up a little bit. You feel like, oh, you think don't they go up again? Then it goes down. This point now, you are at a significant loss. You wouldn't want to sell. You'll be praying, going to the mountain, making sure that it probably <laughs> comes back up. It begins to climb up again, and you feel like, oh, this thing is starting climbing up again. And then you, you at this point here, boom, it goes down finally, and that's a loss. I have people who have thousands, tens of thousands of dollars in some crazy nonsensical assets, so-called assets, all right? And they are waiting and praying. Meanwhile, the people who founded all those nonsensical stuff have disappeared. But these guys are busy praying that this actually works. So that's the difference between a weak token and that's the difference between a weak token and um, a legacy token. So right now, in times like this, like the war between Russia and Ukraine and all of that, okay, the invasion of Ukraine, at times like this, at the end of the day, it is only legacy tokens that will survive that will stand the test of time. We've seen that again and again. Over seven, maybe 70 to 90% of the top 20 coins in 2017 are no longer in existence, all right? Because many of them were not that strong to withstand the test of time. So what, which coin or which token is going to be the next BTC? Which token is going to be the next Ethereum? Which token is going to stand the test of time? It's very important. 
Now, this is where you need analysts and researchers, statisticians, mathematicians, people who understand um, um, hedge fund management, the financial market, and combine that with the, crypto, in the, with the cryptocurrency knowledge to guide you. And that is where we come in to know it. That's where the Moon Arcade, uh, that's where the Moon Arcade uh, um, product comes in. And what is the Moon Arcade? Why is this? Why is the Moon Arcade uh, product important? Why is to know it important? I see somebody was in my was in our presentation yesterday, and at the end of the day, I asked him. I said, "What stood out for you?" And he said, oh, "It's the same thing. Now you bring your money, you invest." But and I told him straight, I just said two words: absolutely not. Because if you are in this room and you listen to everything we say from the beginning to the end, you will understand that we are completely not part of collecting money from anybody to invest in behalf of the person. Because the companies who collect money from you and invest in your behalf, they give you 1%, 0.5%, 2%, maybe per day, 15% per week or per month, depending on what. 100% of the risk is borne by you. If something happens to the company or something happens to that person, I, I, I laugh when people say, I have somebody that is trading for me. Please. I hope you know that the person trades and he loses the money. No matter what he has promised you, you are in deep shit. All right? Because the person will not recover the money in one day. It's not that easy. Even if the person is good intentioned, it's not going to recover the money. So you are also trapped. Why do you want to do that? When you can actually take education, be educated, and make your own investments and have control over the funds and make 100%. My friends, I do believe that a lot is going to happen in this space in the coming months. So if you already have money in the cryptocurrency space and you have legacy tokens, don't shiver. That's my opinion. I'm not advising you. Don't shiver. Don't shake. Don't take. Don't don't do. Things might be hard. Things might be tough. It may not be exactly how you expected it. But if it's not exactly how you expected it, it means that you did not prepare your mind. Because from the beginning, you were told that the cryptocurrency space is volatile. You are going in for the long haul. It's going to be a year or two, but that what you're going to get is going to be significant. And we have proof of that, of what people have made in a year or two, all right, in this space. I think I want to show you that. Okay, what people have done in a year or two in this space, okay? It's, it's, it's quite significant. I, I want to show you this, right? Uh, just want to go through. Okay, take a look at this. Theta in 2013, 2020, it was four cents. Look at it, four cents. And those who invested as low as a hundred dollars, one year and um, one year and one year after that, one hundred dollars has grown to thirty-seven thousand one hundred and seventy-five US. Just waiting for one year. So let's take it that it's a waiting period now. That means if you invested like $36,000, I mean 36,000 naira, that grew to 18.5 million. So just imagine that you have $100 in a particular asset in the cryptocurrency space, and you were able to go through this dry period. And by the end of 2022, your $1,000 had probably become three, had probably, your $1,000 had probably become $100. 85 million naira, or the equivalent of $371,000. Just imagine that your $1,000 have become $371,000. You, you have made a profit of $370,000. I mean, who will not wait? Look at what happened here. Look at this case, like in this case of uh, T Fuel. And when T Fuel was called, all right, it was less than a cent, all right? Then one year and three months down the line, T-Fuel, if you had a $100, had grown to $74,000. And then if you invested $500, had grown to $374,000. Invested $1,000, had grown to $748,000. That's like 374 million naira from just 300, from just 360,000. That is the power of the cryptocurrency space if you're willing to wait. So don't worry, the invasion of Ukraine will pass. We pray for the people over there, our brothers, our sisters, our friends, even those we do not know. Humans there, 
that this ends as quickly as possible and tissue return in the region. For those who joined earlier, we've analyzed the economic, the economic implication of the invasion and what we expect to, what we what we are expecting to see, how far, how bad this can get. So you might want to watch this, the replay of this when we upload it and probably send the link to you. And if you were invited into this space, the person who invited you probably send it to you so you can watch the game. But we're trying to, at this point, analyze why it's important to have a waiting attitude. Why it's important to have the discipline to wait, okay? So for those who waited for one year and three months, just here, 2020 to 2021, all right? What happened? The $500, the 180,000 Naira grew to 187 million Naira. So just imagine, you already are making like, uh, how much? All right, your $1,000, boom, to $748,000 in a space of one year and three months. That's like you moving your 360,000 Naira to 374 million Naira in a space of one year and three months. But once you understand the big picture, waiting becomes a piece of cake. It becomes easier for you to wait. See BNB here. When Binance came, I was three cents. So those who invested as low as, um, those who invested as low as a hundred dollars, Okay, and this money was in their custody. Now, the beauty of this thing is that many people who invested at the time, some at some point even forgot that they, they had money until something happened and somebody maybe probably told them, okay, let me just go and check. That's it. And so from 36,000 Naira or from $100, what happened? They waited for three years and seven months. At that point, the value of uh, the value of BNB grew. This is an asset. This is a token. Grew from three cents, you see, to six hundred and seventy-seven dollars. So imagine that these guys they sold this at six hundred and seventy-seven dollars at the time. Let's say you were there, you had the information in this community, and you probably decided to take action and say, "Well, you know what? I can, I can, I can." make do with, I can let go of a hundred dollars or I can let go of a thousand dollars. Now let's see what that turned out into. Okay. I just, I'm just emphasizing the importance of having the discipline to wait. Look at this. Your $100 grew because the, the Binance platform grew exponentially and 2017 was a pivotal year in the cryptocurrency world. It was like taking a different turn at the time, okay? So your $100 grew to $2,258, $2.2 million, $2.2 million. That is like your 36,000 grew to 1.1 billion Naira. And then your $500 grew to $11.2 million. That is your 180,000 Naira if you were in Nigeria and you invested in Naira would have grown to 5.6 billion. And your $1,000 grew to, must have grown to $22.5 million, approximately 11.2 billion Naira, your 36,000, Naira. How long did they wait? They waited for three years and seven months. So for many of us, you just come into the cryptocurrency space and you feel like, oh, I, the coin that you told me to buy is not going up. This is not a gambling space. It's not a space for blind speculations. As long as you are in the Monarchate community, as long as you invested in the legacy tokens, the blue chip, in many cases, undervalued tokens that we've called, be rest assured. I must also say that this community, they, they are, you have analysts, coaches, mentors, mathematicians, statisticians, and hedge fund guys, you know, understand all of those things, put together forming a very beautiful and magnificent team. That does not make them perfect. I'm being very plain with you, right? That doesn't make them perfect. But if you are being in this space and you've had 96% success in calling good projects, then I think it's it's you it's it's a testament that you need to follow such people. 
I want to show you one last case, one last project, HEX. Now, when HEX was identified, it was less than a cent. So for those who invested $100,000, $500,000, $1,000, remember that you can invest $50. Some people probably invested $20. Some people probably invested $10,000. But for a moment, just imagine for ease of explanation, we just broke it into three tiers. So it means that for those who invested $100, in one year, nine months, that $100 had become $3.5 million. That means that, one, that 36,000 had become 2 billion naira. $500 had become $17.5 million. That is 10 billion naira. $1,000 had become $35.1 million. That is 20 billion naira. It is just growth. The way any company grows, if you identify the shares of those companies, you identify and you go in early enough. This is purely investment. It's not a gamble. It's not a get rich quick scheme. It's just that. They got the information and they decided to take action. Just as many blue chip projects are coming up right now, and many people are not aware, they do not know about them, but those in the Moonakit community know about them and are taking action. Those who have $50, those who have $100, they will have $200, $500, $1,000, $10,000, $100,000, depending on your equity capacity or your, your, your liquidity level, they're taking, they're taking positions. They're positioning themselves. That is how you can also position yourself. By the way, you can also check out our, 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 our YouTube channel, Moon Arcade, one word, Moon Arcade. The arcade is spelled A-C-A-D-E, without an R. Okay, go there and you see some good content, great content on how you can make decisions in the cryptocurrency space. So I'm just trying to show you the power of waiting, all right? And that's just what I'm saying. So some people call me and they say, Stallone, the other asset that you bought the other time, how is it doing now? I want to see if, um, if it is going up, then I think I'll consider joining. And many times I've told people, don't bother considering joining. Don't, don't consider it. Because I, I didn't come into this space with a mindset that the assets will just keep growing. I came into this space with a mind, with a long-term mindset. All right, that the asset, the, the market is living and breathing. Anything that is living and breathing will inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. You don't expect it to just exhale all through or maybe inhale all through. No, it's not going to happen that way. As long as you are dealing with blue chip legacy, legacy tokens. Okay, now we've also defined a system that can help you to make money no matter where the market goes, okay? No matter where the market goes, you can, we, we call it the BAF system, which is the buy and forget system. We have a system that shows how you can get into the market small, small, just take little by little, get in, get in over an extended period of time in a guided format and what that can do for you. And then we're also putting together an automated system to help you set that system set that, that process of buying at a particular time, okay? All that is happening within the community. And so even if you have $5 per week, even if you have $10 per week, if you have $20 per week, $5 per day, you can actually take small, small, little, tiny, teeny positions in the cryptocurrency space. And you will be successful if you have the relevant guidance. But there's one more thing. There are tokens that even when the market is bearish, the market is down, 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 you can still make profits. You can still profit from them. Because some of these tokens, you see them, but there are a lot of things happening around them and many people are not aware. So people just see the token. But what are the things that are happening around these tokens that you can take advantage of? Many people do not know. So how do you get to know that? I'm going to show you how you're going to take advantage of such situations or such positions, okay? And actually make huge, um, actually make huge returns or actually succeed. Okay, let me see. I want to show you this, but I think this is the last bit I want to show you, all right? So I'm just saying that, look at this here. Uh, so like I was showing you. So let's see, okay? So, yeah, 
So I just want to share my screen this last time, and then um, I could take your questions, and then we'll call it a day. Okay, so take a look at this. I said you can have, we have the BAF solution and the SAF solution, all right? Okay, now you need the anti-bear strategy. That is that strategy that would help you to earn passive income no matter where the market goes. Okay, you start making money on the go. And I must also tell you that at this point in time, if you decide to get into the Monarchate community, you already have over 50 reports waiting for you that you can actually go. You can take positions right now if you decide to say, well, I can tell you the market is heavily discounted. And this is the best time to get into the market. My opinion, it's not a financial advice, all right? Now, for you to be able to get in, I want to also advise that what we, the solution that we provide, in case you've been invited by a friend or someone who cares about you, we're very plain. We do not take money from people to invest for them, but we show them places they can invest in. And we guide them because you can be shown where to invest in, but you don't know how to profitably invest. And then we guide them in order to invest in those places. So be that as it may, we also do not take any part of your profit. You keep 100% of the profit. 100% of the profit. So that having been said, if you have the time to do your own deep dives into cryptocurrency, you can do all the technical analysis, all the fundamental analysis. You can you will understand all the how to manage your portfolio so that you become profitable. You can dig in and apply and make sense of all the news and the things happening around and how it, how it can affect, how it can affect or they could affect the cryptocurrency space and make your own decision. You don't need this product. You don't need us, okay? And then if you also have that kind of bank grade tool, um, I mean tools, and you have the manpower, you have people around you that are statisticians, mathematicians, and fundamental analysts, crypto, I mean, uh, technical analysts, people who can draw, look at the charts and tell you have all of them around you, working with you or for you. You don't need us. You don't need to know it. You don't need the Monarchate um, investor, a crypto investor solution. You don't need it. And then if you also have what it takes to spot the next Bitcoin, to spot the next Ethereum, to, to spot the next um, big DeFi thing, or to spot the next NFT, big NFT thing, or to spot the next thing in the metaverse. You don't need this solution. You don't. Because what we do is that we have a class of world-class, uh, a, a group, a team of world-class analysts, researchers that go into this and do the digging. But for me, my personal opinion is, I tell myself, even if I could do this analysis myself, why do I want to spend the time to do the analysis myself when I have a team of heads, smart heads that can actually do this analysis and just point me in the right direction. I just to maybe little or small scratch here and there and make a decision to buy or not to buy. That saves me the time to focus on something else, right? Okay, so if you also can analyze and interpret data, big data by yourself and make investment decisions, this is not for you, all right? So well, in other words, saying this, solution is not for everybody some people that are probably say man you know what i could do all of this we humbly and modestly say this is not for you but if you cannot do your own deep dives into cryptocurrency please do not hang on teeny tiny small um whatsapp groups or telegram groups so they are giving me signals they give us ah there's this boy he can analyze or, ah, this. don't bank on those things you'll be hurting yourself eventually all right, I say that from experience, okay? If you do not have bank level manpower and tools to dig in and do the analysis, because in the cryptocurrency space right now, it's not like the stock market where you can go to maybe Yahoo Finance, Bloomberg and all that and get some info and make a decision and all. It's not exactly that way. Right now, cryptocurrency space, information is still coming out. Right now, what the focus on the cryptocurrency space now is about bringing application is a lot is about getting this blockchain technology to solve problems 
right now it's not about so much about aesthetics, user uh, friendliness or and all of that. It's not that. It will come to that's how technology works. The phones we see today, they were not as sleeky and beautiful as we see them today. The first thing first was, can one person talk to another person through wire? Then it got to, can one person talk to another person without wire? It was not about the loop. It was just that core functionality. And then at some point it got to, all right, so can we make it, uh, can we now have buttons and uh, more buttons and with more functionalities? Then at some point, Apple came with Steve Jobs and said, can we just get a phone with one button? Not all the buttons around, just one button. And now today we have phones without buttons. At some point, it wasn't about cameras. I remember there was a time we were saying, if we could get phones with cameras, because you want to take a photo, you, there's a flitting moment. You want to take a photo, you have to go to a studio. All right, we didn't, or you, you must have a camera. We're saying, ah, can we? And then phones with cameras came up, but the camera, the, 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 the picture production was not good. Today we have videos, we have, you have like, you have like professional grade camera phones. That's it, that's it. So that's the stage where cryptocurrency and the blockchain is now, it's about solving the core problems, getting out there, providing. So it's not about the aesthetics and user friendliness and all that, not that yet. We will get to that point. So because we are at this stage, it's not that easy to find high quality, dependable information. It is now about who knows who. So do you know who owns this project? Do you know the people behind this project? How do you ascertain beyond what they say on paper? How do you ascertain if it's going to stand the test of time? What problems are they solving and all of that? If you have that level of connection, you don't need monarchy. But if you don't, then you need monarchy. It might sound like gibberish right now. For some people, that's how it sounds until they lose money. Okay, so that's it. Now, having established that, how do you get into our community? If you're looking forward to getting to the Munakid community, you just it just will cost you $1,250. $250 for enrollment, and then you have $1,000 for subscription for 12 months. But there's a good part to it. For the next couple of days, I do not know how long that's going to be, you will have a flat out discount of $500. So that means that you simply pay $750 to get into the Munakid community instead of $1,250. If you ask me um, $750 as against, um, if you ask me $750, uh, that is more like, uh, that is more like, uh, that is more like $2 per day. Yeah, that's more like $2 per day to get the quality of information that I'm, I'm sharing with you right now. That's like $2 per day to get the quality of information that I'm sharing with you right now. So my friends, if you've been invited to this space by somebody, I can assure you the person cares about you. The person really, really does care about you. Because listen, what you get from this space, from getting into the cryptocurrency, from getting into the moon arcade space is enormous. All right, it's enormous. What do you get? You will get, a, you, will, you will discover emerging opportunities in the crypto space. You will also discover secret buying opportunities before others get to know about them. You will discover highly, you will be in a highly informative academy that would help you to make, show you the how to's, you know, there is the wow to, then there is a how to. to wow, this is, okay, go get it now becomes a problem. So that's where we come in to also show you the how to. You will also have access to discount buying opportunities. You will have access to our VIP Telegram group for top-notch guidance on buying and investing opportunities. All right, and everything put together is valued at about $10,497 per annum. But you don't have to pay that. All you have to do is $1,250. In fact, there's a further discount for a few days $750. If you are here and you are hearing this and you have not told a friend, I don't think you love that person. If this is happening in the cryptocurrency space, you haven't told a friend, you haven't told a neighbor, I don't think you really care about them. 
because the cryptocurrency space is expanding. You see what's happening now will kill, will put fear in so many people and they shrink, I don't want to go in there. But wait for all of these things to simmer down and then see what happens. Just take your mind back to what happened between just as the coronavirus uh, lockdown was waning, the bang that happened in 2021, January, February, March, people made a lot of money in the crypto space, but they had to wait. So the period when you were waiting, we were locked in during the coronavirus period. People had already put their money and they were making money sometimes even without them knowing it. And as 2021 came, it was an explosion in the crypto space, right? Right now, what you do is just $750, all right? And it's heavily discounted. For me, it's really wonderful. I surely do not know for how many days this is going to last, so I recommend that you take action right now if you are not already in the community. If you are in the community, it's a time to quickly tell a friend. But I don't understand fully how this works, but there's a video, there's a, there's a, re, there's a play, but there's a replay version, you can go watch it, but there's a heavy discount of $500. I have shown you what $100 could do in the cryptocurrency space. How much more when you have $500 discounted? You see, another thing you're going to get in the community is that each week to know it brings you fresh hot money-making opportunities from the team, from the Monarchy team. And this team, like I said, is made up of analysts, researchers, experts. Every week they will alert you to cryptos that will be that could be poised to exponential growth for exponential growth. They also warn you away from hyped up cryptos that look good. But you shouldn't even touch them. I see people for me, people send me messages every time. Stalin, there's this new crypto, and there's this new company. They say they are promoting. I mean, I tell them, listen, listen, listen. Don't, don't, don't scatter your focus, right? Just be narrow focused. Okay, stay here and see what is happening. Because what we have, 50 reports already, you don't, you, you, you don't even have the money. I don't think you have the money to buy all the assets. And more assets are coming in. And each month, you get Moon Arcade's latest forecast about the broad crypto market, plus the hottest recommendations to position yourself for maximum profit right now. All right? So one year Moon Arcade subscription is $1,250 plus enrollment. As we speak right now, it's 750. I don't know, you might go in by tomorrow to get registered and it's gone. It's back to 1,250. Of course, you're gonna pay $1,250. There's no, no two ways about it because the price will eventually even go up to like $2,000 because this 750 is just for a limited time. That's like $2 a day, $2. So when you join now, you will be given immediate access to download all the 50 reports plus. And then you get specific instructions on the best cryptos to buy right now. Plus, you also you would also be given immediate access to countless tutorial videos. All you need to do is spend 20, 30 minutes per day. Take a look at those things. Because remember, it is a do-it-yourself thing. We do not collect money from anybody to invest in their behalf. We don't do that. We show you those blue chip companies that are either discounted or just about to hit the surface. And then you go there and you invest. We've had cases where people get in and snipe and do like 200% in one day. I'm not saying it's typical, but I'm saying it happens. It's everything that you need to jump in now, okay? And begin exploring the world of undiscovered blue chip cryptos right away in the Moon Arcade space. Plus, I must also tell you that there is so much to profit from all of this. I sincerely hope that you take advantage of this once in a lifetime opportunity in the cryptocurrency space. Understand that 99% of the population out there, have, they have no idea what is taking place behind the scenes. They don't. This, you know, there's, a, there's another thing. <laughs> There's, an, there's a third evolution that is happening in the crypto, in the blockchain space that will meet thousands of new millionaires and change the very fabric of our society. So the decision you make right now will change your life forever. I believe so. 
and open doors to new opportunities that you never dreamt possible. So again, I'm going to ask you, get back to whoever invited you and ask for a business link. Get started today. Get started today. My friends, we are living in a unique moment in time, a moment when the very nature of money and finance is undergoing drastic change for the better. Don't let the things happen. The things happening around will contribute to this move. And if you just don't want to be an observer, you don't want to be on the sidelines, you want to take action, this is the community to be part of. Try the Moon Arcade Crypto Investor Education Program for one year and see what happens. I believe that this is truly a limited time offer. So claim your spot right now, right? Claim your spot at this with this super discount that we have. And I see you in the room. And I really do hope that this has touched you and you'll be able to take action immediately. All right. And um, take advantage of everything that is happening and become more profitable. You have questions. I could take a few questions. Okay. I pointed out a couple of things, one of which that we're not an investment company. We do not take money from anybody. So invest. We point you in the right direction and you invest and you keep 100% of the profit. We have analysts, we have researchers in our space that can help you do all the technical, fundamental portfolio community research, background research, and call those key projects for you. In fact, there are projects already waiting for you to delve in, to bite on. I could take a few questions if there are questions, and then we'll call it a day because I have another meeting to jump into. I hope that the analysis and the information about Russia, Ukraine, and how it's going to affect the crypto market and how cryptocurrency behaves from history, what we've seen. I hope it's of value to all of us. Please, if you've got value, can I get value in the comment section? Just type value in the comment section. Value. Did you get value? All right. You think your time was um, well invested. Thank you very much, Jane. All right. Okay, great stuff. All right, any questions? You can unmute yourself. Okay, thank you very much. You can unmute yourself or you can put up your hand. I'm willing to help. All right, if not, thank you very much. I see Grace. Um, I see Chief I am. Okay, all right, Jane, please go ahead. Okay, thank you very much for the excellent uh, presentation. Thank you very I'm much. Just, thank you very much. I'm just new, I'm completely green in this. So uh, my question is, um, which projects do you think that one should invest on now? Which one, or where can I go to the uh, to know to to know it? Um, how do I call it? That platform to okay. get those things. There is right, like so quite a lot of information, and I'm completely confused. Okay, great stuff. Yeah. Okay, so um, 